Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Taco Bites, your daily bite of DGen, episode number 190. Coverage begins ETH Denver 2023. Uh, it was uh, day one uh, here in Denver. Uh, got in late last night, but not, no, not late last night. Uh, yesterday evening after we pulled off a 30 hour drive straight um, from New York to Denver, which was a pretty good drive uh, as well as hosting a marathon, I think eight hour Twitter space. Um, that was fun. Shout out to TJ for joining tonight. Um, and those that will be coming out later on tonight is uh, going to be a, a quick bite. Um, happy to have you up TJ anytime and every time. Um, I was getting ready for um, all of the pieces of um, ETH Denver and the events around that. Um, it will be fun to do. Um, so how are you doing tonight, TJ? Are you getting ready for the Phantom uh, launch tomorrow? Yeah. Yep, it is going to be interesting to see how that goes. Um, so, really, we just had a quick... We're going to have a quick run over of, of what, who we've gotten to meet so far. Um, going to have some interviews set up with uh, some of those from Tinker Chain on uh, Polkadot. Um, building right now, and getting ready um, to go to a mainnet parachain. Um, so, that's... That's pretty cool. Um, some uh, one of the side projects that they're building out is uh, Polka Dot's first meme chain. Um, so a zero utility blockchain that's secure, <laughs> and um, but had some really good uh, conversations tonight with the founder Gabe uh, and Dakota. Dakota, Dakota I, I met last year. During uh, polka dot uh, decoded, um, and Dakota uh, and I, you know, we got talked a little bit, got some cool pictures with um, Mr. Gavin of York, aka Gavin Woods, um, and talked with him a little bit and meet. Um, but what they're building is some pretty cool things. One of the things they're looking at is creating a an entire polka dot uh, ecosystem. Uh, marketplace for NFTs and NFT transfership that will use X XMC XCM um, to translate those the uh, those NFTs over and port them out, which will be a really cool process to see them do. Um, one of the things that we are excited about is uh, setting that up, and we will be back in uh, just one second. Have to check and make sure our do not disturb is turned on. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Just didn't want that to delete the the piece. One of the really cool things that we have going on, uh, we got to meet with uh, our builder team. Uh, we are providing a little bit of service and support to um, ETH Denver. Uh, so we'll be helping with uh, some of their podcast stuff on the, I think, 3rd and 5th. So that that will be really, really cool. Um, and, and happy to, have, to provide support so that these uh, organizations can keep giving um, back to the community. And they, and they do that based, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily take take work or take time, but, uh, a little, little work like, uh, you know, a retweet and a share and, or something along those lines goes a long way. Um, you know, showing, uh, showing support to, to those that, that matter, um, to you, um, really sort of, um, help the word grow. Um, was able to meet up with one of our longtime friends, um, and other 
worldwide degen tra uh, travelers, but Shaka, um, and got to meet with a f his friend from Madrid, Spain, that is here. Um, and we're going to be working to set up uh, an interview, but then he also invited me to become one of the um, alpha beta testers that they've opened to about 30 spots, but they're going to become being live streaming um, via an NFT. So live stream will be broadcasted through the NFT itself, which sounds pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so we'll have fun to try that out, see how we can integrate that. If that in gets integrated into taco bites or if, uh, you know, in some other way it is followed through in on. So that'll be fun to see. Um, really fun to see how that goes out. Um, and honored to be able to, you know, get picked to be part of that. So. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing? Can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you. Good good evening, good evening. Uh, how are you doing on your end? All right, I'm good. This is my... <laughs> yeah, right now, I'm in the morning, so... Yeah, I just wake up from the bus. Hi, everyone. So I'm happy to join the the conversations. No, no. Yeah, no. So uh, I don't actually know what you you guys are discussing, but I just feel like joining in order to ask some questions, in order to understand what you are discussing in the community. So I just saw your post and I decided to join the the space. And I hope everyone is doing well, the community, or I might call it family, you know, from family to community. So when when you keep persisting on what you are doing and feel uh, so great about what you are doing, you know, on a very good day, it's going to exaggerate and turn out to be a, a great something. So I don't actually know what you guys are discussing. So I just decided to ask some questions concerning the, the, the good work people are pushing, you know, how to make life good. So I'm very really excited to be on, on you guys' midst. So here now is morning, it's not evening, so I'm not seeing. Uh, so that is there. Uh, yeah. yeah, I welcome the, the good ones that are just joining the space. Yeah, no. So, uh, no, welcome. Uh, it is one of those things, uh, just doing a quick bite tonight sort of covering um, East Denver, uh, which is uh, one of the largest, largest conferences of the year that sort of helps start off the conference cycle for, um, you know, both as a, a protocol uh, conference and project pro conference to uh, a huge hackathon and, and build build-a-thon. Um, so we just got to Denver yesterday to be able to provide coverage for that. Uh, network and, and work um, a lot of deals for the projects that we do work for and so um, it is uh, um, one of the one of those things of just giving a quick coverage of that as a little out of time zone um, but uh, was talking about um, one of the really cool connections made tonight was with uh, the founders of a uh, Tinker Chain on on Polkadot, and some of the things that they're building, um, and just really the the enjoyable conversations that had today at with some of the builders. We'll be providing interviews um, with a lot of the different teams tomorrow. Um, so just sort of covering that, literally just sort of uh, tonight was a uh, having to wait till last minute uh, episode. 
Um, but we'll be coming in uh, tomorrow afternoon, I think it is, uh, will be um, once we are up and running um, and be providing various interviews throughout the day and having uh, having a blast as always. So, yeah, that is what we are talking about tonight. Um, and then uh, I, because I am a D-Gen um, um, of the highest order, one of the tokens really – having a lot of interest in is called Zen token X E N. And so was asking, uh, another, uh, you know, friend in the, in the room, whether or not they were getting ready for the phantom version of the chain, uh, token as the token is on 10 different chains. Um, and they're going to be launching their NFTs on phantom tomorrow after they've pretty much, uh, done a new chain, their, their token is on 10 chains, but and they have NFTs on three chains. Um, and they're going to be launching their fourth tomorrow on Phantom. So just get people getting ready for that, and that will be that will be really fun. Wow, wow, wow. that is really great. So I really understand what you said right now. So that is very nice. So I'll keep waiting till tomorrow, Sean. So that is it. Thanks. Thanks for your explanation and your listening. Thanks. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that is what's coming up today. That's what's coming up tomorrow. Um, you know, other things, big pieces on um, just some of the things that, you know, just finished getting over some a TLDR of um, WEF and what they are doing um, at their most recent conference. Um, prepare, you know, they do virtual uh disasters so uh not real disasters but they they global 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 responses um and so sort of interesting with their take on the wef today um and what 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 the wef is doing um and coin bureau provided a lot of good black backstory to that so if you get a chance please look up coin bureau um really good um news source there uh across the board of of it doesn't matter what your your taste is, you will find most likely find it in one of Coin Coin Bureau's videos. Um and so yeah, no, but that is sort of what we're covering today. Um market's taking a downturn. Uh for those of you who have seen um with everything from ETH down, Bitcoin is down, um uh seem uh hex is a little down today. Um, and, uh, it is good to sort of see, um, that, that build piece there as it starts to slowly return. Um, we're hoping that, um, the market all the way across everything from near Solana, um, ETH and Bitcoin are all down and then a lot of alts as well. So, uh, it will be interesting over the next couple of weeks, um, I have, and when it comes to trading, sometimes I, I use what I call the Costanza effect. Good news uh, makes me um, bullish, but it, it makes the price go down. Um, so um, I remember, you know, I, I, I use that strategy a few times. When good news comes out, um, people people sell because they they're they're so risk adverse that they don't want to have what they've been holding possibly lose value because it's going to be doing something new. And so um, that's one of those weird, this is the way um, type of things. So with that, um, it is body is still fighting um, time zone change. It is midnight here just after midnight, but it, it feels like it is over almost two in the morning because uh, in New York it is. So, uh, success, we have, uh, you know, real quickly, 10 seconds on the spot. Words of wisdom, sir. Well, yeah, uh, 10 seconds on the space. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, we, we do it every day, and we will be on multiple times uh, each day throughout the next couple of weeks as we interview different teams and work to get that data and information uploaded. Um, it will be really fun, uh, to sh showcase a lot of the new things that are being built. So we will have a, a blast with that. And so, 
success. One of the things we always usually how I usually end all these spaces with are words of wisdom. Um, and so I, I give put people usually in the in the hot seat. So you have ten seconds. You have the floor uh, for your great great greatest advice of the day today. Wow, wow, that is very nice. I thank I thank you for for your a calm welcome for your warm welcome. So all I can say is that you know in every situation or organization that are like this, so everything you wanted to do in life, you just have to have patience. You know, in the first place of starting a something, there is always difficulty in order to make things right. But as so far, you keep persisting. Keep uh, pursuing it, you know. I can, I can say you are going to make it if you if you couldn't give up on the way. So that is it. Because all I can say is that in everything you want to do in life, you can easily put it in your mind, put all you can in order to achieve it. You know, you can never make something in a day, but you, you can achieve it as you are pushing it and and a kind of. You know, having some courage and energy in order to push it. You know, it's not in every situation, you have to assess some patient, have faith in it, that on a very good day, this thing is going to yield you a lot of things that can make life easier, achieve, that can put smile on your faces. You know, sometimes you may... You may find something difficult when you have not started doing it, but when once you start doing it, you may see some ways, some ways in order to make it possible, in order to, in order to make it start working. So, well, all I can say is that whenever I want to do something, put it in action and start doing it, so that in a very only as in, you, may, you might not know what that you may add to you, but as far, so far you start doing it, it's going to add you a lot of things. A lot of things that you are not expecting, but if you don't, if you don't start doing it, your your mind will be putting fear in you that if you may start this thing that you you are not going to achieve it or achieve nothing. But when once you start doing it, it may hear you a lot of things. It will, it will give you some ways. It will start uh, open some some ways in order for you to make it uh, to make it on what you are trying to 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 be or what you want to achieve. So that is all I can say. Like likewise. Uh, uh, S community. It, it was once a family. See when it extended to a community. So, but why if Richard, uh, if Richard Hart was thinking that it's going, is not going to make it. You know, if he stopped, we might not did reach the level today that the S community are. So, when once you are, you are kind of starting to do something, just keep in mind, have faith, have some patience that on a very good day. It's gonna yield you a lot of things. It's gonna make it as it's gonna it's gonna make it make it possible. As you know, sometimes fear keeps us backward in order to achieve what's supposed to achieve in this life. So when once you you, you when once you kill the fear in you, I think you are going to go far in life because it will take you to a higher place that you might not expect. So that is what I can say. That is what I, I can say. Any community that you are into, like me, I'm into a community. When the, the community is on on the, uh, is, is too very but I, I had faith and I have achieved some, some, some things from S community. So that is that is all I can say. So keep pushing, keep uh, keep persisting on whatever you are doing. Everything is gonna turn to be good on a very good day. Thanks for your listening. All right. Hey, thank you so much for those words of wisdom. Uh, we end tonight with uh, our usual words of wisdom. A closed mouth cannot be fed and you cannot feed a closed mouth. Um, and with that, we end with the joke of all jokes and the joke how we end every single night of Taco Bite. Um, it is going to start and success i i don't i might need your help on this if if you know how the joke goes um if you know knock knock success do you know how that joke goes 
Uh, looks like we're going to end it. We're going to have to answer that joke ourselves like we usually do sometimes. But uh, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs>